Hello everyone, myself Dr. Pooja, your own physiology faculty at Cerebellum. And today I'm having Dr. Madhulika with me, who cracked the FMG exam in the very first attempt with wonderful score of 212. So I'm very glad and I'm very happy to uh, welcome you, Dr. Madhulika. Thank you, ma'am. It's a pleasure to be here. So how are you feeling, Beta? How are you feeling or how you felt when you saw your results? First of all, it was absolute disbelief because uh, looking at the paper, like after coming out of the paper, I was really not sure about passing. Honestly, I was like maybe 150, 160. But when I saw 212, I was like, OK, I had to check it like multiple times on multiple devices. And I was like, OK, yes, that's my score. So it was absolute disbelief. But yes, it's uh, super exciting. And honestly, it's a relief. After six months of uh, literally going through a lot of sacrifices and maybe kind of, it's kind of a trauma, but yeah, it was worth it after seeing my result, I could say that. So whom did you share your results with? Um, I actually went to the washroom and I saw it alone first. Like I was like, okay, let me take this moment and like see if I've passed. And then of course my parents. I shared it with them and then, yes, I was practically calling all my friends and the whole world who knew I was giving the exam. Like, I was like, yes, I passed it finally. So, yes. So, what was uh, the expression of your parents? How did they oh, feel? Literally crying. Literally, it was just crying and they're like, okay, you suffered so much and this and that. Because they were, I was at home uh, when I was uh, preparing for the exam. So they saw me through everything in these six months, like, you know, sacrificing everything. So, yeah, it was just a happy, emotional yeah. moment. Yeah, of course. So tell me, Vita, uh, I will ask you about your journey from where you have studied and when you started preparing for this exam. Did you start it in the university itself or after coming to India and how did you prepare for it? Uh, so, um, I have studied my MBBS from Vinitsa National Medical University, in Ukraine. And yeah, it was amazing, the journey over there, like studying medicine over there. It, it's a fun in itself. But yeah, we had a lot of obstacles. I think all Ukraine students would agree, like we had to face COVID and also a war. So, like, you know, getting evacuated from the war and everything, it was all part of our MBBS journey, which is very um, unique, I would say. But uh, about FMG, I did not really prepare from the first year, but uh, like from the sixth year, I did start a little bit, like doing a few subjects like pathology, which I thought was like important to understand other subjects. So, but mainly like exam centric, it was basically from uh, like after I reached uh, India, which was around um, August. And yes, I did uh, put my trust in cerebellum, uh, like in uh, September, like when the mission classes started, that's when I signed up for cerebellum. And yes, the mission classes, everything I've been following cerebellum, like completely blindly. And yes, the result is in front of everyone. All right. So uh, people, some uh, students have the FOMO also that uh, whether this content is sufficient or not. So what uh, your advice is going to be for your juniors? Absolutely. FOMO was like the biggest thing. It was like that one month, August, which I was like, I was looking at all the apps and like what is available. Like there are tons and tons of uh, options available today. But uh, Cerebellum clearly stood out because of uh, the amazing teachers they have. That's one thing. And also they provide the live classes, like the mission classes, which were an absolute boon. I mean, for Cerebellum to cover the whole, uh, like the whole syllabus thrice before the exam is a big thing in itself. Like all the teachers, hats off to the teachers for, you know, their dedication and like, you know, just doing it. It's not possible. So, yeah, that was one stand, uh, standing point for me. Like, the teachers were great. And their schedule was also amazing. So, yeah, it had to be cerebral. All right. So, did you attend all the omission classes, is it? Uh, yes, all the three labs. So, you used to attend it uh, as a live or recorded ones? 
um like for the first lap it was a little relaxed because it was yet away from the exam so i did do, do it like day by day every you know minute of the live class but by the second lap um, then i was like okay i need to do it faster so i would watch the recorded version in like uh, into 1.5x but yeah i would try to uh, attend the live classes as much as possible all right so uh, with the live classes uh, what are the things you did like did you used to solve the questions also you used to give gts late night pyqs midday modules like what else you have done uh yeah so the um, late night pyqs was also amazing it just i think it boosted everyone's score a lot i think everyone would agree with that and uh, like just being consistent with that helped us solve questions right from the beginning like even like when it was 6 months away the exam and um, of course the gts and i didn't really solve the q bank because i didn't have that much time like it was just 6 months but uh, i did do uh, like the pyps like questions from the custom module like based on the pyps and all of that and um yeah basically mostly it was that and gts was absolutely like a very important part of my uh, preparation so students are scared of gt scores basically uh, did it ever occur to you that uh, the scores are lesser and you are nervous for giving the next gt and i think it's uh, more like a thing like as you keep doing it the fear just reduces so like the first one i gave i was like under a lot of pressure and like oh my god what is the score going to be but then as you keep giving 5 6 you are like you know you just give your best and it's okay you know and actually the main exam also i gave it like that i was like okay you know it's just like a gt or obviously the pressure was a 100 times more but uh, yeah it was like one of the many gts i gave so it was good you did all the uh, mission classes Uh, as well as you have solved the uh, questions, right? So yes. Does it ever occur to you that ki yar ab man nahi kar raha? Now I'm I'm totally burned out, or I don't want to do the class right now. So how you used to get back on track at that? Some low points must be there in the life. So how you used to come back to track? Uh, I would <laughs> I would study more. Actually, that's very weird. um because i mean people say that okay go and watch a movie or go and you know talk to your friends or me i was like no i can't i literally like those 6 months i could not look above my books like i just made it a thing like even if i'm burnt out i would do questions like i would do questions or do something related to this like watch a video on youtube about uh, like you know some study thing i would not like waver away from it basically I mean that's not a good advice, but yeah, so that's what I. So in the same direction, in the same direction you used to walk, you just ha- you used to change the routes to go there, basically, right? So you used to take a different route, but the direction will be the same. Yes. So you absolutely. avoided the distraction completely. So there is no question of that. <laughs> so, uh, th- what you were doing before the exam? Let's say one week before the exam, or few days before the exam. that was i would say the worst time the like few weeks before like two weeks you know it like sets in that okay the exam is right here and you just the like, four more like comes in again and you're like oh my god there's so many videos on youtube like you know people are having these live sessions of revisions like it literally it overwhelms you and you're like what should i do and then when you watch a video and they say something new and you're like ah oh, cerebellum didn't teach me this and you know it just it just pushes you back in your prep it's just not good so yeah that it's very crucial that time and you know just uh, keeping your trust in your source is very very important in that time but it's very very difficult too so, so what you, you did to uh, you know to come back uh, to that calm demeanor or let's say you know having faith uh, that is important because when the fomo hits you don't know right so how you manage your anxiety at that time that it's okay fine ye nahi aata koi baat nahi it's okay to not know one or two things right but mm-hmm. whatever is already taught to you that should be perfect so how you manage your anxiety at that time i would just shut those videos and get <laughs> back to what i was already doing it's very difficult honestly but um, yeah i mean i'm a very calm person so i wasn't really anxious i would just try to get back to my normal like the things that i already know and you know get perfect at it as you just said 
it was just that yeah but it's just mentally a lot ki you know there's so much out there and you don't know maybe you don't know enough to pass the exam you know that question always comes up but you just have to go through it just let it go what else so the most important point is whatever making you anxious just before the exam just shut it down <laughs> That's yeah, except, the one that I can tell you. If you're studying everything else that makes you anxious, you should shut it down for sure. <laughs> All right. So, uh, any any final advice for your juniors, Madhurika? Uh, many students, uh, many bachas are watching you, right? And they are definitely going to get inspired by your story. So, any advice from your side? Um, mainly, firstly, it would be uh, just have faith in your source. which is very important especially in the last month also i would say because there are too many distractions too many people doing better things and it's very distracting so you just um, you know follow what you have been following and uh, yeah and give gt gt is really you not realize it that time you know when you're scoring less you feel like you know oh it's so demotivating but down the line you will realize that Okay, when you did that question, that particular question wrong, and you see it in the literally there was this question which I did incorrect in the GT, and it came in the main exam, and I was like, I remember the wrong answer too. Like it's very like you don't. It's crazy how the same question had come. So GTs really does help. So doing as many GTs, reviewing them, learning from them is an important part. And yes, I think cerebellum's live classes is the way to go. Thank and you. I would like to mention uh, some teachers. Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Uh, like they've been an inspiration. I think one would be Amrit sir. Like the way he roasts students in during the live class is hilarious, and it just keeps the class so much fun. So yeah, and of course his teaching skills are like beyond uh, perfection. And Zainab ma'am. who is like she is literally the goddess of knowledge i think she just has so much and seeing the btis i just feel like even if i'm not studying i just want to watch it and be like oh my god there's so much information and you know like to learn from and it was she's an amazing teacher too and of course ma'am you the way you simplified physiology is uh, really like you know you need that we need that you know it's that easy and simple but like it's made by you that simple and it helps in the exam that's exactly what's asked not complicated things which we don't understand so thank you ma'am for making physiology that easy for us to grasp and you know use those concepts in the exam i'm glad that i can be a part of your success story and i'm really glad that uh, you know you came here and you shared so many you know uh, important fundas the most important i took away is कुछ अलग से इवन सम स्टूडेंट इज गोइंग टू आस्क मी मैम इसमें ये पढ़ाया था इसमें ये पढ़ाया था एंड यू हैवन टॉट इट आई विल आस्क हिम टू शट डाउन दैट अनलेस एंड अंडर इट्स इंपॉर्टेंट ऑफ कोर्स सो लेट्स नॉट योर मेन दिस थिंग इज द फंड आई इज नॉट टू गेट एंक्शियस हैव ट्रस्ट इन योर सेल्फ हैव ट्रस्ट इन द सोर्स यू आर फॉलोइंग राइट नॉट टू गो टुवर्ड्स द फॉर्मो एंड जस्ट कीप डूइंग यस एब्सोल्युटली Okay. All right. Thank you, Dr. Madhulika, for coming and sharing your thoughts and uh, giving wonderful advice to your juniors. And definitely, many many students are getting inspired by you. Right? Uh, they will get inspired uh, via watching your video. So thank, thank you. you, and uh, very much. Uh, you know, again, I will congratulate you and your family. Thank you so much, ma'am. Definitely, I would like to uh, see you in the NEET PG, and I want uh, the same, you know, the success uh, wala news that yes, ma'am, we have or I have done again that uh, I have cracked the NEET PG or I N I C T in first attempt, and I got my dream badge, right? Because the expectation bar for you now has been raised. Yes, thank you so much. Hopefully, yes. <laughs> All right, see you. Enjoy. Bye bye. Thank you.